Today's story is called The Secret Fawn by Callie George and Ellie McKay. This morning, Mama saw a deer. Dad and Sarah saw it too. But I didn't. I was getting dressed all by myself. I always miss everything. I miss the shooting stars because I go to bed too early. I miss picking the first apple because I am too short. And now I miss the deer. While mama makes pancakes, I slip outside with a sugar cube in my pocket. The sun is soft and gold. The grass is wet and tickles my toes. There is no sign of the deer. Whoosh, I hear something. Is that the deer behind the apple trees? No, it's just some leaves dancing down. Flick, I see a flash of brown. Is that the deer? No, it's just our neighbor's dog come to say hello. Shh, Nala. Splash, something's by the pond. Is that the deer taking a drink? No, it's just a bird searching like me. Crack, crack, is that the deer wrestling some branches? No, it's just a squirrel nibbling its breakfast. My stomach rumbles for my breakfast. I sigh and sit down. I don't care if it's wet. Carefully, I place the sugar cube on a rock. Maybe the deer is hungry too. Maybe it will come back. I listen. Nothing. And then I look. I see something in the bushes. Not a deer. A fawn. A baby deer. Golden and soft like the sunlight. Quiet as a whisper, little like me. It looks up at me and blinks. Hello, we say with our eyes. I watch until it rises wobbly and heads into the woods to find its mama. I rise and head home to find my mama too. Mama is waiting for me with a plate of pancakes. Did you see the deer, she asks. I shake my head because I didn't. I saw its fawn. The end.